What's his name? It belongs to Tom Warren from Monster 2. Get in. Are your intentions honorable, sir? No. Oh, well, then. I'm Drew McKenney. You devil! What's the difference? I might be dead in a couple of months. You talk like that and I'll get straight out of this car. I'll warn you. It's true. More than a million of us in France already, and they're dying by the hundreds every day. Read the papers. I don't read the papers. I don't even look at them, and I don't want to know about it. Gosh. You can't just walk around wearing blinders. Don't you tell me what I can do and what I can't do. There's no man allowed to have that privilege. You just hush up here. Give me that. Give me another. Looks got me all upset. Just when I wanted to be most happy and gay. I think you're just annoyed with me for cutting in on you and Bill Noel. One of that is ridiculous. Do you want to know the truth? I was more than a little surprised a lot of people didn't cut in. What do you usually do? I mean, I don't face to think I'm already married. Are you going to be? I don't know. I'll tell you, Andy. Sometimes when he treats me as if I were sacred, he thrills me. <laughs> it's like this. It makes me feel all warm and liquidy. Tell me you just this minute caught that your little airplane. Ailey, did you hear about this afternoon? What? Horace Canby crashed. He was killed instantly. You mean he was killed? Yes. They don't know what the trouble was. His motor just... I don't know. <laughs> hey, Bill Knowles out here. Tell him she wants to go home. Andy? It's all right. Andy, he's dead. He's dead. I don't know what to do. Here's Bill. Andy, you must never, never tell anybody what I told you about Camden this afternoon. What is that? I mean, what you threatened to do? Of course not. Oh, Andy. I heard all about it. It's going to be all right. It was... Just get on me, honey. Andy, you just got to be very, very brave and try not to let it break your heart. Mm -hmm. Come on, there's a taxi over here. Good night, Andy. Good night. You poor fool. Oh, Andy. That was all she said. But what she meant was, isn't it too curious for words that I have this disastrous effect on men? Of course. I should have made one of those fine moral decisions. The people making books and despised her.